Hey, this is Barry, Realtor in Residence, and I wanted to show you guys quickly some cool stuff in Follow Up Boss. You've got reporting here, um, and you click on properties. You can search based on um, your inquiries, so like what um, people in your area, you know, based on the leads you've received over the last 30 days, you know, what houses seem to be getting more inquiries. So like this one, for example, has uh, received three inquiries on it. Or you can do it based on zip code, right? Which zip code has the most inquiries? And um, looks like this one's got six two three three two zero. That's a popular one. Wow! Look at this: twenty two inquiries in Hampton, Virginia. The other thing you can do is, you know, you can filter based on tag, and uh, you want to make sure that your auto tagging is on. That's you go to admin tags and um, you turn that on basically as the the lead is searching for a home the tags are added um, on each lead and so if I wanted to look for say leads that are looking in uh, 23320 and 23325 both in Chesapeake but certain parts of Chesapeake Virginia um, so now I've got this I've got you know people that are looking there's 1600 and then why don't I also filter based off of website activity? So I only want to look at the active ones. So now I've got people, 266 people that have been on my website in the last month looking in these specific zip codes. What I would do from there is I would um, probably email all of them and do something like a batch email. And so now I'm emailing all of them. I'm going to use the assigned agent, include all the email addresses, and say something like, hey, are you still looking in Chesapeake? Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, um, the last viewed property. You can either do the address, the URL, or the preview. I like the last five preview. Chesapeake still. Obviously, that's not a good subject line, but I wanted to show you what this looks like. And so what it'll do is, you know, if there's one home or two, so this guy doesn't have any, right? Let's go to the next one. Uh, some leads are going to have a lot, some aren't. Um, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> if you write the copyright, you know, and do it just right, you can do it in a way that doesn't make you look silly. The other thing I would do with uh, a list like this is I would um, put them in a dialer. You, know, you create a list, and when I create the calling list, uh, I'm going to create a new one. And so now I'm I'm calling them and uh, you know going through the list to try to reach somebody. So um, hope that helps and uh, definitely do that reverse prospecting. It works.